These are joist hangers, by the way. Um, putting on all of these, it's a wraparound deck that we're doing. The nails are a hardened, it's, it's for, specifically made for joist hangers, um, so that when you get pressure down on the, on the floor joist, it won't uh, shear whatever other nail you might have used. Pretty, very important. It also has little tabs that you can pound in at the top that hold it in place. Pretty handy. If you see, if you see a hole, fill it with a nail. <laughs> okay, so we are ready to tie this in. We're keeping the boards all going this way because there's, the, the, there's an existing deck there and the boards are going that way and there's a porch over here, the board. So we want to keep them all the same. So we're, we're going to start with a long one here. It's about 12 feet. We'll use this one as our starting point to go both directions. We'll come off of that with these going that way and then the longer ones going this way. <laughs> Chisel works well to tighten them up. I borrowed Chad's chisel. So we have a pretty good start here. I'm going to run the put the camera over there so you can see this side. And uh, uh, an important thing to do at this point when you're doing a, a tie into a deck. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow. Are we okay there, Chad? Okay. So we want to make sure. This measurement to the deck is the same as over here to the deck. So we'll just check that out. 75 and 7 16 <laughs> It's exact, 75 and 7 16 That makes life easier. Okay, so I guess we're good. We'll still check it as we go and make sure we get it go halfway or something. We're using the star screws. You can see the tip. They, gr they uh, hold really well so they don't strip out. Okay, we'll pull another measurement. Sometimes the wood varies one end to another. 53, the 16th under. So we'll just not get one uh, side tighter than the other and even that out. We have the deck all framed. Everything's nice and solid. Have some nice eight by eight posts underneath. We, um, this is five quarter decking. We're getting ready to put the handrails on all the way around and dress that off. It's kind of a, a, a rainy day. It's, it's kind of warm though, it's not too bad. It's I think in the 50s. We found, we're, so we're getting ready to do the handrail and the top cap. The, uh, the deck, the, the existing deck, the top cap was uh, kind of rotted, so we pulled that off. We're going to put new all the way around that. That'll give it a really nice look. It'll help tie the whole thing in. So, 
Handrails are next. Before we can put the handrails on, we have to build them. So I'll show you what we're doing. And here's yet another angle that, where you can see. Uh, so we're going to do a section here, one there, and then a, a longer one on the out, out back. I'll just show you briefly how we mark these out. This is for one section over there, the top and the bottom. Um, the balusters will connect on like that. Chad's over there um, screwing them and putting those together. Uh, I'm going to bring you down here so we can get a, I'm trying to get you a good angle to see this. Okay, before I lay this out, marketing is just incredible. So they send you a full uh, come 12 to a bundle of these two by twos and they package them very cleverly. So you look at this one. Oh, that's a, that's a nice one. Then you look at this one. Oh, we just paid two dollars and twenty-five cents for this. <laughs> Marketing. Yep. Anyway, uh, this one's going back to the lumber yard. All right. So let's lay this out. <clears throat> so the total length is eighty-four and three quarters of an inch all the way across. Uh, code requires balusters to be five inches on center. So what would, so it's almost, it's within a quarter inch of 85. So we're going to just assume it was 85 inches. That's really close enough. Um, those are an inch and a quarter thick. We're going to hold back three quarters because that will help even it up across here. So make sure top and bottom is even here. We're going to hold back three quarters of an inch and put an X uh, where the baluster will go. So from that point, I usually just put a, a nail or something so I, don't have, so I don't have to keep calculating. We'll pull that out in a minute. So from there, we can just go five inches every five and put an X. That way you have space Space it so they're five on center all the way. 25, 30, 35, and on and on. There we have it. Okay, so we'll uh, transfer the lines across. Let's go over and see what Chad's doing. He's assembling. You can see we put two screws top and bottom all the way down through. We're using a star head screw. Those grip really well so they don't strip out and you don't hear that grinding sound when they don't go in. Chad does great work by the way. So the last step is putting the top cap on. Kind of finishes everything off so it looks real pretty. What we usually do, we just lay these out all the way around the uh, deck. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you around there what we're doing. You lay them on there, then with these both crossing, we draw a diagonal, cut it, and then they, they draw in really well so it's nice and tight. Let's go look and see the others. You can see that we're putting them all about a half inch like that. Some of them we're securing so that they don't move while we put the other one on top and we'll cut those. But I'll show you, we'll, we'll do a cut on one. Okay, so we secured this one with a screw and we put a screw, we ran this one. We got our measurements so we're the same reveal. 
screwed that so that's fixed. Now we'll just saw that right off. We made a 45 degree mark. You will have the, the thickness of the saw cut, but what we do is back these screws out and you just pull it in. Then it's a perfect cut every time. So let's go look at another one. I think we'll actually cut this one. I think we're pretty well geared up. All right. Which side do you want, Chad? You gonna take that side? All right. This is old school, eh? Wait a minute, no, we're just kidding. We're gonna use a real saw. Come on over and take a closer look here. So you can see the space there. And what we do, we'll just squeeze it together. Really nice tight fit. We'll do that all the way around. Okay, all tied in. Everything is nice and tight. Looks great. Now all they need is some sunshine. They can sit out here and enjoy it. All right. So, hey, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, hit the like button, make a comment, and um, we'll have more videos coming out. Thanks again.